Hello friends, it's Judy and I am back here with another creative meditations video. I'm going to show you how to wash your charger. So last time I did one of these, it was on coloring. I'll be the first to admit that I'm weird. I love using pencil crayons as my medium, but at the same time, I love strong, bold colors. That meant that I either had to color using really hard pressure or that I had to keep coloring the same spot over and over until I got a suitable intensity. I chose the former, but it made my hand hurt. Constantly sharpening pencil crayons also made my hand hurt. Long story short, I'm a weakling and constantly trying to get that bold color was causing me physical stress, which is completely counterintuitive. I was supposed to be relaxing. Good news is that I have multiple creative outlets to calm down the crazies in my head and I love to share it with you in my creative meditations videos. I'm basically a chronic crafter. My obsession this year was washi tape. I purchased most of mine at the dollar store and like to tape them around my chargers to keep things looking pretty. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. All I did was wrap washi around the charger on one end. Then I flipped the charger and lined it up nicely and taped it around the other end. With this particular tape, I lined up the peaks of one side to the valleys of the other side. Since I already had one in this color, I decided to use a different type of washi for my next charger. I'm choosing to follow the line of the charger, but you can always do diagonal lines. That'll create a nice effect as well. Once I completed the full revolution, I just snipped it at the end and fastened it to the charger. I topped it off with some clear packing tape to make sure the washi stays and to get a nice shiny surface. Then you either snip or rip off the excess packing tape. The beauty of washi is that it comes off so easily if you don't like it or if you want to switch it up, you can just peel it off and stick on another type of washi. As a side note, if you are laminating it with packing tape like I am, be aware that this might not come off as easily. That's all for now. If you saw any washi in this video that you'd like to purchase, comment below with the description of it and I'll let you know where I got it from. Thanks for watching and remember to hit like and subscribe.